Good day. We had this incident yesterday. This 60-year-old man picks up an object from the ground. It explodes and kills him. Right? Very tragic. And uh, I've been watching media today and yesterday. Yesterday they talked about it. But they soon went back to the normal stuff. Very soon. And now the, the story is gone. And yeah, I can tell you the favorite story right now in Swedish media. At least in the TV shows, right? TV news shows. And it's this. Some stupid journalist in the United States of America wrote a book about Mr. Trump. You know, that's the story. And they go on and on and on about this, right? And do you think that Swedish citizens are interested in this? No, absolutely no interest. It has nothing to do with us. And still they talk about it. I mean, this story about the, an object exploding, that's the story, you know. This is so pathetic. You know, you could look into this story, right? Why did it happen? Why did it happen where it happened? You know? Does this happen elsewhere? Will this happen again? Very important story. So, of course, and I've been wondering about these guys. You know, why are so many journalists lefties? And I think it's the profession. It's a nasty profession. You can criticize, you can attack, right? And you can feel important, and you can get away with it. Right? You need to be sort of nasty, right? Of course, there are exceptions. But uh, yeah, and lazy. It's good to be lazy, I think. So it's a perfect job for a lefty. <laughs> yeah. And uh, just uh, to prove my point, right, I have this story. I'm sure many of you know this story already. I have to just talk about this. It's so good. It's about this student in the Uni University of California, San Diego. Her name is Ana Carola Flores. Flores was one of a number of students who spent the day after the election day in 2016 wandering around campus shouting anti-Trump slogans. And at some point this event became a larger protest and the group of students stormed a freeway in an attempt to block traffic, to make a statement against the president. Of course, what a brilliant idea. And Flores was one of the students who locked arms on the freeway. But something happened. A car swerved around the blockade and hit her, breaking her leg and pelvis. So, now she is suing, right? Flores is saying her injuries are the school's fault because the school knew about the protest and supported it and failed to tell Flores and her fellow students to rethink their idea of blocking traffic on one of San Diego's busiest highways. <clears throat> And he, she additionally claims that the school is liable because there was no one, well, they didn't warn Flores, you see, that there was no one providing security for the demonstrators along the freeway. She also, she's also suing the state of California for failing to act quickly to shut down traffic. Yeah, this is beyond reach, I think, you know. When you are this stupid, you are gone, you are lost. And if she is representing left the left, I'm not, I'm not so uh, worried about the future, you know. If this is what we're up against, we should win this. Yeah. Okay, that's the story.
Bye.